Were well, you trying to get crazy with it, see? Don't you know I'm loco? Do you have the time to listen to me whine? Never been afraid to say what's on my mind. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Dos Locos Podcast, Tampa Bay edition. Uh, this is episode 18. Um, 18, right, Becca? 18? Yeah. It's 18. Episode 18. 18. You ain't muted. Uh, so it was a little different today. We got a different setup. We're not in Jersey. We're back. In, uh, we're back. We're in Tampa and welcoming back. Riding through New York. <laughs> About to go and shoot New Jersey. Can, can I, Barner. <laughs> Shout out to Chief Keith. A.K.A. Jan Barner. Nah, a- you know what I said. A.K.A. King Jan. R.I.P. to King yeah. Vaughn. Um, <laughs> A.K.A. I'm going to keep that to myself. I don't care, bro. <laughs> A.K.A. Dookie. No, what the fuck? <laughs> Poopy? Here's Doogie. the thing. Doogie. This the, am I looking at Yeah, the, that's your camera. Yeah, okay, that's your camera. Let me talk Doogie. to the camera for a second. Let me. You guys see me good? You probably can't see me, but you can hear me. No, they can see Listen, me. when you're doing an interview, you should know how to pronounce your interviewee's <laughs> name, whether it's, it's his first, middle, last, or nickname. Now- let me clear this up for my guy to my left. Uh, the nickname is not Dookie with a K. <laughs> Ain't no shit over here, okay? Don't even think I shit on people. Uh-oh. <laughs> Getting there too soon. Uh, but no, it's Doogie. Doogie. With a G, D-O-O-G-I-E. Um, Where'd that nickname come from? Doogie. Okay, we're going to kill the vibe a little bit. That's all right. Just a little bit. We're going to bring it down. We're we going to tone it down just a little bit. There we go. So uh, the nickname Doogie. That came from, well, firstly, I'm named after my cousin, Kenyon. Okay. Um, well, let's just get it out. Let's put it all out there. My entire name is made up of dead people. Um, no disrespect to anybody in my family, and I hope they don't take it as that. Okay. Um, but, Kenyon, I'm named after my cousin, uh, my godmother's son, who is my dad's sister. Okay. Um, he died in 89, the year I was born. Um, my dad went to her, asked her. If they could name me after him because he was so close. He was my dad's son, basically. That's how my dad took care of him. Um, so he went to her, asked her if he could name me after him. Name me after him. Excuse me, that's that white claw. Um, <laughs> Gatorade. Caucasian claw. Gatorade. Caucasian Gatorade. claw. The Caucasian claw. Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade made me burp. Um, <laughs> But she, he went to her, asked her. She said yes, but she couldn't call me by his name um, and still can't till this day. Um, we're basically twins. It's very odd. If um, I wish I had a picture. If I would pull a picture up of him, I ask kids in my family who's that, they'll say it's me. Really? But yeah, but it's not. Um, so I'm named after him. His name was Kenyon, Kenyon Atkins. He is the first, um, the originator, um, named after him. Um, so she couldn't call me his name. And as a child, as a baby, I used to sit up in her bed. She used to watch me a lot. I used to spend a lot of time with her. And I used to sit in her bed and I would watch Doogie Howser, the television show. Um, hmm. That was like a way for me to get to sleep. But it yeah. was also one of my favorite shows. I would sit in her bed and rock side to side. <laughs> um, and so she started calling me Doogie. And then it stuck Do- 31 years later. Doogie, Doogie Howser was the doctor, doctor right? right? Yeah. He was gay, right? I don't know. No, no, no. The, the original guy was gay. That one Are we already moving down? <laughs> no, we're not moving down that route. Uh, exactly. I'm just asking. I forget. We're not going away. <laughs> we're not going down that route yet. What a, no, 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 no. What a transition. No, no. I'm not transitioning. I just needed to know. Listen, I'm going to focus on I'm gonna talk this. to Becca. Okay, I'm going to leave no, no, you no. on my left he and I'm going to focus on my right. Every week. Thought, Next thing is coming is going to be what? shit and dicks. No, we're not talking about shit and dicks. Oh, shit but we can because no, someone will, likes to shit. Or we'll talk about that later. Face. We'll talk about that later. Um, but your middle name, what's your middle name? Fatero. I'm named after my uncle. Um, again, my dad's brother. Um, if I remember correctly, which I should know this since it is my family, but I don't know my family history like I should, but I believe he died at birth. Oh, okay. um, um, my dad also has another sister. I believe my grandmother had 13 kids. Jeez. Wow. Oh, Yo, yes. back in the day, it was like that though. It like was a my normal dad thing. came from mine. Yeah. How? What do you mean how you, know. so let me break it down for you. A I man mean, and a woman you. meet. Oh a man God. and a woman meet. They find I each other attractive. That. They come I'm together. Saying. They lay with each other. The man <laughs> inserts his male 
sexual <laughs> organism into the female's male sexual organism. They begin to. I know how fucking so babies are right made. Now. You're I know. so proper. I know right how now. babies. Yeah, I, yeah. Listen, I know how babies are made. I can so we get off, and then it's going to be a whole other. Ball oh game. no, this is I'm just saying, for right now. I want to no, make sure yeah. he Listen, understands how babies are made. I know how babies um, are made. I'm saying well, like he doesn't know because he doesn't. It, according to him, he don't get fucked because he don't know how to act right. Well, well oh, I would hope he didn't get fucked. <laughs> oh, here we go. Damn, can we it's can we roast. can we not it's get to this? Can we get not not get to that part yet? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to say uh, Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, Don't listen. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Jesus. Uh repent so, and turn from your ways, brother. <laughs> so uh we have Full of uh, grace. So you got your <laughs> you're named after your I'm named after my cousin, I'm named after my uncle. Okay. Um yeah, I'm named after a dead person too. My Are father. You? Yeah, okay. my father. Well, well he only saying. died last year though, so I was named. You're still named after a dead. I mean, <laughs> yeah. now. I made it funny. I mean, but I like how you just tried to make your story similar to mine. <laughs> right. Like you just don't tried you to steal his fucking thunder. Right. Like that's people? like a nice fucking story. And that here's crazy. you're like, oh, I'm oh, also. Oh, hey, I'm, me I'm too. also. I was, oh, me too. I was trying to make all lives matter. Damn it! All lives matter. Fuck. All lives matter, not just no, black people. No. All lives wow. matter. Is this where we're according, going? According to Hector, it's Hector's lives matter. No, Look right. at I was trying to, Let's not focus was, on Kenyon. No. Let's bring it, Listen, bring it back to me. It's I was me. trying to me. see. I was it's trying to transition. Yeah, yeah, right. I was trying to transition into the not so, you know what I mean? Because we brought it down. I was trying to make a joke, but you guys fucking took it So there. you were joking about your father's death. No, he's really dead, but I do. That's how I well, cope obviously. with death. That's how I cope with death. Well, you joke about it. I joke about it. So the other day, a couple weeks ago at work, they were talking about, we were at work and they were like, my dad hasn't called me, blah, blah, blah. I said, man, my dad hasn't called me in a year. They're like, that's so messed up. Oh, I said, so stupid. That, yeah. is, damn, that is I not, said, that, that, is, that is actually not surprising <laughs> what so yeah, right. said, he's been sitting on my stepmom's mantle for a year now. <laughs> Listen, trying to get off that shit. Hey, I'm in. What's up? I'm in here. Let me out. What's up? I, so when when we first brought him home from Puerto Rico, and you know he's cremated, so we brought him in a box, and we opened it. It was really hard, like for us to sit there. I didn't want to even open the box, but okay. once we opened it, I'm. That's how I am during death. I don't go to funerals. That's just how I am. I opened it and I was like, all right, so who wants to sniff him first? <laughs> like I had, my brothers were like all oh, in that moment, like <laughs> I so, just so I had to. This well, is how I deal no, with death. You didn't have to. I, that's how I deal with death, man. I get it. I understand it. We all deal with death in different ways. I don't deal with death. Death does not affect me anymore. Same. Um, but we're not gonna roll over that like a speed bump. Like that's just some normal <laughs> shit. That is normal. No, it's not. What do you mean? No. That's normal. Okay, to everybody that's listening, if you've had someone someone pass in your life and you've had them cremated, I would just like you guys to comment or somehow send in emails, text messages, whatever it is. Did you sniff <laughs> I didn't st- the dearly departed? I didn't actually sniff them. I made I don't a believe joke. It. I don't believe it. I made a I don't joke. I Heck, no, you know why? Because so, so, okay, no, I don't no, want no, that no, juju no, on me. No, 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 no. So <laughs> did you really not? No, I swear to God, I didn't. Did you put your nose close to it? I did. He sniffed it. He sniffed it. <laughs> he sniffed it. No, he sniffed it. I he sniffed it. Listen, when did you put? What, was it? Was the box open when you put your nose close to it? The bag was open. Yeah, it then came you in fucking a plastic sniffed bag. it. What the fuck? You got all them fumes. What you no, mean? I didn't like sniff it in because I didn't like snort did it like you, it was cocaine. So you stopped breathing? No, I did. So you fucking sniffed it. <laughs> I God sniffed it, it, but I didn't snort it. I didn't Mama, snort I'm it. I'm sorry for cursing, but <laughs> Hector, Hector makes me this way, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I was Listen I didn't want to snort it Because then that I didn't want my dad's like Ghost in me or something I'm but afraid of dad is already in you So it wouldn't have been I know but new. it's still I don't want him messing I don't even He came to me in a dream one time Scared the shit out of me I'm sure it did Ghost scared me Look, We could talk about ghosts I got we a can, ghost story too I, I, I want to hear it Man I don't play with the dead no. Me neither Mm-mm. I just scared Rebecca all day Oh my god Go ahead I want to hear this ghost Um So my nanny, she died. I don't know how old I was. I was young. Um, she died. I, I was in elementary school, no doubt about it. Um, beautiful black woman. Could cook her behind off. I'm talking about mm. from scratch. Anything you want, nanny could make. How was the mac and cheese? It damn sure wasn't craft. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all I need to know. I, it, I love it was, homemade it was, mac and cheese. It was baked. You know what I'm saying? It had the eggs. Cheese. Crack 
Throw, ooh, watch out now. Thrown in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mixed together, the seasoning, you know what I'm saying? The different cheeses, the four or five different cheeses. Breadcrumbs. Right, breadcrumbs. Like, like on top to make it like crusty, no? That's, that's Caucasian that's, shit. That is. That's Caucasian <laughs> shit. Who, first, of all, first of all, who puts breadcrumbs in macaroni and cheese? What? Bake. I do. And it's fucking good. Did you ever have it? Are you Caucasian? I am. Exactly. It's I Caucasian just found shit, this people. out literally three weeks ago. <laughs> Can we talk about how Rebecca just did like this? I just I, I, I just found this out <laughs> three weeks her, ago. She put her chin <laughs> She put her mouth to the mic, people. <laughs> Anyway, anyway um, get to the. So you're always yelling at me. You want the mic closer yeah, to my face, but I'm hitting. I'm, I move too much. He's a, he's a predator. He what? He's a he wants creep. He wants the mic close to your face for a reason. I know. No, he's, that has nothing to do with the imagery in his oh brain. My God. <laughs> Listen. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> let me hear this ghost story. Hector is not a predator. Thank I, you. For those of you who may take words there, he's not. He's not a predator. Yes, he okay. He has children. Yes. Okay? He loves his children. Thank you. Thank you. He's still a predator. I'm not no fucking predator. <laughs> People know me. I'm not no predator. Yeah, they know you as a predator. I have a shirt that says let kill me, all pedophiles. Let me tell you how I met Hector at a children's party that he knew no one at. What the fuck? <laughs> are you lying? He's lying. He's lying on me. This man is straight lying on my okay, name. that was a lie. It was a lie. That was a lie. Wait, you confused that me. Yeah. Because I was like, wait, I what know fucking you, party you, did we go you, to? You, 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 you were about to believe it. Are you not allowed in your schools? What? Shut the fuck up Oh my what god What is it uh, 500, 500 feet A thousand feet of a school <laughs> Fucking something like I that I shit on people's faces I don't fucking mess With no kids Alright Let's get that Out of the fucking door I don't shit on people's faces It was an accident <laughs> This is my camera right <laughs> Yeah <laughs> I have a question Oh god I would equate If you are a individual Who can shit <laughs> Feces Poop Kaka, out of your ass onto another human being, you are capable of anything. <laughs> you, listen, you are capable of doing anything. I'm done. Anything. Uh, but anyway, so let's true. get to this the ghost, ghost story. story. Let's yeah. get to, okay, let's Why are get we to talking the, about poop right now? You brought it up. I did. You uh, have an infatuation with the, with, the, with the anal canal. You try, let's call my mom and see if I have an infatuation with shit. Why? Hmm. Why was your mom? Why are you bringing that? your mother into this? I don't Why? know. You're not. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. So my old coach in college, shout out to Chip Kelly over there at uh, UCLA. Uh, he had a good saying: old Chip. "When you're digging holes, the first step to getting out of a hole is to put the fucking shovel down and stop digging." I want you to shut the fuck up <laughs> and stop digging. Uh, um, nah, That's but um, um, uh, my nanny she died. We went to her funeral. Um, and my mom thought it was a great idea. My mom, my aunt, and my, I, I believe my, my grandmother was there. Thought it was a great idea for us to stay in the house that night. Um, I don't know why you would stay in a person's house that passed away. It's, that's their, that's their domain. Yeah. Um, and after going through what I've, I've been through. Now, I, did she die in the house? No, she didn't die in the house. Okay. But my grandmother was very spiritual mm -hmm. and very connected to the things around her. Um, so we had the funeral. It's probably about two, three o'clock in the morning. That's very unprofessional, by the way. Um, cause I'm sure I had him go get me a tissue. My nose is running. You got that shit? No, I don't have that shit. You, you was playing with your nose before you was playing with that white girl before I, the show. Huh? I don't do you got the drugs. Drip? You got the drip? I don't do drugs. Let you me the, find you out your do dad's urn do is drugs. here. Wait well, a let me let me All warn right. you guys. Drink, Alcohol I, is a drug, okay? Oh this is not mine. God. I drink Gatorade. Oh my god. Athletes only drink Gatorade. <laughs> let me find <laughs> out your dad's ashes are in this place right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've been sniffing it. I brought right. I brought a fucking uh That's cute puffs. Um but yeah, so we stayed in the house that night, right? Um, it's probably been about, no, it's not two o'clock in the morning, that's a lie. It's, it's midnight, and I know this sounds Hollywoodish, midnight, scary, spooky shit happens at mid midnight, but it's actually midnight. The freaks come out at night. Are you calling my grandma? Are you calling? Oh no! Is this my gr <laughs> no are you calling my great no. grandmother a freak? <laughs> no, I'm just saying spooky shit happens after dark. Huh? Spooky That's shit. Again, I'm going to focus with Becca. <laughs> Becca, we're hey, here. Yeah. We're here. He's People on an island. <laughs> on his own. He's all he's, by himself. Call me, call me Revis. He's floating over there somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where he's at. You keep going. And your ass needs to be in Pelican Island. Okay? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so it's about, 
It's midnight. It had to be because my grandmother had my grandmother had an infatuation with dolls and clocks, like the old clocks and big ass father clocks. Grandfather, yeah, like yeah, the grand, ding, yeah, ding, yeah, and yeah, dolls, like yeah. porcelain yeah. dolls. Clocks. She had, yeah, she had a Chucky doll in her house, bro. Well, why? <laughs> I'm wondering the same shit at 31 years old. <laughs> they tell me how great she was. Listen, I love you, nanny. No disrespect. I don't think any human being should have a Chucky doll in their house. No. Chucky is fucking evil. Yeah, even <laughs> even though, <laughs> even yeah, though it's who wait. walks around with it, you know. So were you, you were born in eighty nine, right? Not the eighties baby. Yeah, just to go. 80s baby. Just because you're talking about a Chucky doll, do you remember the my buddy and me doll? It look it was before Chucky even came out. That's where they got the thing from. I had one of them, and that now that I that think about it, you that's, play with dolls as a kid. That, that explains a lot. All Becca, right. back to you. Um, <laughs> so um, it's, it's, it had to be 12 o'clock. So she had about, my grandmother had probably about three or four grandfather clocks in her house. She had a, in her living room, was full of clocks, mirrors, all this fancy shit. Um, we're watching TV, me and my auntie still. We're watching TV. I know you guys like to call people on this podcast, so I can call my auntie and she can. Um, I believe she can, you. She can verify. This. I don't think anybody um, that makes up stories like this. Is no, I don't lying. play with ghosts. I don't play with the dead. Um, and so the clocks start going off, but they're going off abnormally long. And it's me and my aunt. We're watching TV. I don't know what the hell we're watching, um, but we're sitting on the couch. We're watching TV now. Mind you, my mom is in the house. Two of my brothers, and I believe my granny, my mom's mom, is in the house as well. I believe that. Um, but anyway, the clocks are going off there, but it's going abnormally long. Yeah, it's only supposed to do a couple of thongs, right, you know? a couple. Yeah. But every clock in the house is going off. Every single one. And me and my aunt, I th- I'm, I'm, I'm probably no older than 10, maybe nine. I'm looking at her like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Turn it off. Yeah. What's going on? And no lie, it got cold in the house. Ooh. Ooh. It was weird. It was it was They cra- say that too. Like it, it when was, it gets like real cold, like you get chills. It was the crazy it was the weirdest I re- I swear to God I remember like it was yesterday. Sorry God. I mean I'm sorry. Anyway, um so we get up because these clocks are going for so long. Me and her get up and we go, we walk into the uh the living room and we're looking the clocks are still going off and we look at the door and her shadow is literally on the door. Look, her shadow, Stop. shadow is I'm out. on the door. <laughs> Clear as day. There's no doubt. Me and my aunt both know who it is, but nobody in the house is waking up. Nobody has woken up. From the clocks? Yeah. Nothing? And it's lo- I'm talking about loud as shit. I'm talking about rat ass six nine rapping loud. <laughs> Obnoxiously loud for no reason. And so we walk we walk and we kind of stop like, oh shit. I'm saying I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm cuffing her leg. I'm grabbing like, yo, what the hell is that on the door? And literally the shadow walks by me and my aunt and walks to the back room. Who's in the back room? I don't know. Oh, it's not. I thought somebody was like sleeping in the back room or something. I'm sure there was, but I wasn't going to find out. I'm not a white person in the movie. I'm not walking <laughs> to the problem. Nope. I'm what not is walking. that, Johnny? Let's go see. <laughs> Let's, auntie. Can we go see? No, we're not yeah. following that. So literally, me, me and my aunt, we kind of scream, but nobody woke up. Nobody heard a thing. So we run and jump in the bed with my mom. And the next morning, we're like, we didn't, did you hear those clocks going off? And she's like, no, what are you guys talking about? They're like, well, we seen Natty, Nanny last night on the door. And all the clocks were, and everybody's like, well, we didn't hear a thing. I'm like, that's odd. Um, and side note about that Chucky doll, my brother punched the head off that doll. <laughs> With your big brother? Nah, uh, uh, my uh, brother Keandre, the skinny okay. one who don't like to work out. Lazy ass. <laughs> He's, listen, me. Can he fight can, though? That's all that matters. Exactly. Can, can he? He don't need to work out because he can he? fight. Boy, can he fight? Exactly. Listen. Oh, anyway, we don't got to go there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't play with ghosts. I don't. I don't play with. That sounded, that sounded like that Rick Ross and uh, Meek Mill. Stop. Drop that again. Drop, drop it with Joe. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so, oh, yeah, great. I don't I don't, I don't, don't fuck with ghosts either, man. So much shit has happened to me in my life that I'm just like, nah, I'm good. I used to be scared of it, and now I just don't. Like, when it happens, I just, okay. Okay, I know what it is. Because you know it's real. Yeah, it ain't. It, like I don't think there's. I don't think you should fear anything that you know is real. You just recognize it for what it is. You accept it. Nope. And you just leave that shit alone. Unless, unless nah. it's a demon. 
Nah, that shit scares me. You recognize I don't... it, yeah, and you leave that uh, shit alone yeah. until it touches your ass or fucking hurts you. Were you touched as a child? No. <laughs> wow. Wow. Damn, this, you this got real. What, what is it? What Damn. movie was that? Scary movie where the ghost was smashing the chick in the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a scary Wait, movie. Was, was that you, it? Becca? Scary no, movie. No, that wasn't the, me. The funny movie. I wasn't. You brought I wasn't up being that, touched by a ghost. A, nope, wasn't me. Did the, go, did the ghost pull the covers off you? Did it grab you by your feet? Snatch Stop. you out the bed? That freaks me the fuck out. Did you never see? You never saw any of those movies? They say that it's like a real fucking. Thing. Well, The Conjuring no, is The yeah. Conjuring is based off a true story. Okay, well, let's not talk about all okay, this. Okay, right. Still gotta now go that to we're sleep talking tonight. about scary, see? I still see? gotta go to sleep tonight. The, okay. Now that we're talking about scary stuff, uh, uh, you played for the Eagles before. Let's let's let's, let's get back into this intro. Kenyon has played for Oregon. He went to college at Oregon. You know what? Tell your accolades. I'm oh, sorry. Oof. Well, where do I begin? Oregon. Okay. I mean, he already mentioned Chip, so we might as well yeah, just go so, down there. Yeah, there so start there. I, started at the University of Oregon, um, 2008, 2012, the golden years of the University of Oregon. Um, we ran the Pac-10 and then eventually the Pac-12 at the time. Consensus All-American, um, hold the Russian title or single-game Russian record at the University of Oregon. Was mm. drafted in the sixth round from there. Um to the Carolina Panthers. I've been all over the league. Um, I'm what you call a journeyman in the NFL, but nevertheless, I'm eight years in this bitch. Mm. So I'm still here. Let's go. You feel me? For all um, you fucking haters out there. Yeah, yeah. For any, listen. I'm going to say it for For all you fucking haters out there. I can, I'm not, listen, I'm not the politically correct athlete. 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 At, well, athlete? Athlete. 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 But no. Um, drafted by yeah, the Panthers. Drafted by the Panthers. Play for, I've been, I was in Philly for four years where we won, won the first Super Bowl in 52 years. Ever. 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 Yeah. The net, that championship don't years. count. What, what don't count? The championship. The, you, before, before it was a Super start, Bowl. Yeah, but what you mean it don't count? Up. That's what they say in Philly. Not even Philly fans. No, Cowboys fans yeah. say it don't count. Giants fans say it don't Cowboy count. Cowboy fans. Are we yeah. really talking about <laughs> Cowboy fans? Well, that's exactly. what they say. Who, every year since Troy Aikman and Emmitt Smith have said, this is our, this is our year. <laughs> we are winning the Super Bowl this year. You hear this? Year. You hear we this, are you Super Bowl. Cowboys fans? Fuck a <laughs> Cowboy fan. Fuck you, Fuck Cowboys. You. All right. Fuck you, Dale. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, they say they. A lot of people say that they go on the Eagles fans and say it don't count. But okay, obviously well that, it does. that's fine. When was the last time you guys were even relevant you, in the discussion? And you I'm know not who even they beat not, for that first championship. I'm not even, who? Uh, what was the Packers? I don't listen, coach? I don't know the uh, uh, famous Lam- coach uh, Lambert. Who the La- trophy is Lombardi? Named after him? Yes, Lombardi. Yeah. I was going. Why was I going to say Vince Lombardi? It is Vince Lombardi. Uh, oh, wow. I'm thinking of. I'm having a Are brain you thinking fart. Of Vince McMahon. Yeah, right I am. I am. WWE baby. Shout out, Undertaker. Undertaker. Yeah. Shout out to the Undertaker. Shout out to the fucking Undertaker. Undertaker. You were my favorite wrestler. Final I love farewell. you. Man, oh, thank man. you for the fear that you instilled in my heart. Made me scared of that doom. That thing was vicious. Doom. You knew when you heard that, you got what? chills. You got chills sent up your spine. Yeah. Um, I had the opportunity to watch The Undertaker at WrestleMania in New Orleans back in 2013. I'm jealous. Uh, no, that was, was that 13? No. Yeah, that was 13. Thir- no, was that 14? Wherever wrestle, whenever it was in New Orleans, I was a huge. My godmama, speaking of that, huge wrestling fan. Yeah, Auntie B, huge. Still, you big wrestling fan? Yeah, me still, too. Still to the day, she me still watches that shit every day. We would get along because I watch it every day. Yeah. Um. So shout people out to make the fun of me. Um. But anyway, back but, to the Eagles though. So what wait, was that wait, like? Wait, wait, wait. He wasn't Super finished with his accolades. Uh, Eagles from Eagles, the Eagles. He from went the Eagles, to. I went to New England. Okay. Uh, two time Super Bowl champion here. Uh, Drizzy Drake. Back to back on y'all boys. Uh, 2018, 2019, two Super Bowl rings, couple Pac-10 rings, you know. Um, looking to get another one this year. Let them know who gets your rings, though. Who gets your ring? Who you give your rings to? Oh, my pops got my rings. My exactly. daddy get everything. There you go. Um, and that's all. We could have a whole conversation about that. But my, my, my daddy, um, and yes, I said my daddy. <laughs> my daddy. Okay, um, he get everything, anything when it comes to athletics, that's because awesome. that's like my biggest, my biggest fan. My family support me like no other, but my dad is my rock when it comes to sports. My dad never missed a practice. My dad never missed a game. My that's dad, amazing. my dad came to every collegiate game that I had, whether home or away. That every fucking game, every game. So man, I, I love my dad to death. Was um, your dad there last night? Nah, my, it's COVID season. They live in Cali. 
Are you trying to get me to put my dad at risk? My dad <laughs> he just said he loves his dad. Too. Right. To he, dad. Was my, no, my to dad's dad. not here. It's COVID-19 <laughs> season. COVID. Matter of fact. <laughs> nah, anyway, nah, put your but, mask on. Right. Um, nah, but yeah, my dad, my, um, my dad get all my stuff. If um, My dad got a place that has so much memorabilia. I try, I try to give all my stuff away. Um, it's not that I don't appreciate it, but I, at the time... And I appreciate it more as I grow older, but um, I always felt like I want to give my stuff away to people. You know, me, there's so many people, yeah, there's awesome. so many, so many people that show me love, um, and I know that they would appreciate. It. So I tried to give everything in my day, give a, give it away. My dad was like, "Hold on, <laughs> we keeping a, that's <laughs> coming that home to, with me." Yeah. So if it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't have anything. Um, and while we're talking about this, I'll have him send me a picture of this special place that he has. That's full of literally nothing. It's an entire room. We can put that up as you're talking about it. Yeah, so send it's, that a, to it's me. an entire yeah. room of nothing but my stuff. Jerseys, pictures, trophies, cleats, helmets, magazines. Every, ma- every magazine that I, my dad has, every newspaper article that I've ever been in, ever. That's really cool. Re- regardless of where I'm at, Philly, Oregon, Carolina. New, if, I'm in an, if I'm in a newspaper article, my dad has it. Um <clears throat> For all you deadbeats out there, take yeah, some you, fucking pointers. All you deadbeat hoes out take, there who ain't taking care of your kids and who ain't standing strong ten toes take down some like po- you should fucking be. Fucking pointers. Take Absolutely. some pointers from Gary Barner, okay? Exactly. He ain't perfect. Shout out to Gary. But he perfect to me. Shout out to GB. Shout out to Sizzilk. What's Sizzilk? Don't worry about that. Okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Shout out to Sizzilk. My mom Scissor. Would, my mom wouldn't want me to talk about that. Okay. And then. That's my that's my daddy's street name. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. I don't want to go there. Uh, I'm talking mess- about I- Stein me. <laughs> so from the Patriots, you went to from the Patriots. So I've been Carolina twice. I was in. New- I was. I've been to Philly twice because the year that that we won the Super Bowl. I was about to say they we mm-hmm. won the Super Bowl. I started off in OTAs and training camp with the Chargers. Um, I got released by them. Shout out to Spros. We could talk about Spros. Okay, we good um, there. I love him. Let me, I'll tell, I don't, I mentioned this once and I don't really talk about it. Um, But if it wasn't for Sproles, I would not be where I am today. I wouldn't be eight years in the league had I not been traded to Philly and Sproles been the type of man that he is and take me up under his wing. I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be eight years in. That man taught me the game. Um, He taught me how to be a professional. He taught me how to push through adversity. That Sproles taught me a lot. And so sticking with him the year that we won the Super Bowl, I was sitting at home on a couch. Um, I got released from uh, San Diego or L.A. Chargers, sorry. I got re- released from L.A. And I was sitting at home for like, it might have been three, four weeks. Um, Sproles, it was, this was the year Sproles tore his ACL and broke his forearm. Yeah, um, I remember that. Literally, Sproles called me from the locker room <laughs> after tearing his ACL. Um, and he's on the table. He's like, hey. He was like, I got hurt. I'm like, damn, I'm so, like, I didn't even know. I didn't even yeah. see it. Um, he was like, um, get ready for a phone call, he said, because I told Howie and I told Fip to come get you. I'm sitting at home. I'm not even on the team. And so wow. I'm like, I'm like, okay, cool. Um, all right, no doubt. And obviously, you don't know what, pe- you don't know what they're going to do. Obviously, it's yeah. management. Right. They're going to do whatever they want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I knew Sproles had told me and Fip had told me once I got there. Shout out to Dave Fip, man. That's one of the realest coaches in the NFL. I love that man with all my heart. Where's he at right now? He's in Philly. What you mean? He's still in Philly? Yeah. I thought, I thought for some reason, I thought he went. I'm thinking of Frank Reich. That's what I'm yeah, thinking of. Shout out to Frank. Um, but nah, Fip, um, one of the realest coaches in the game, man. Um, it's not too many coaches that you can come across in this game that's going to keep it a buck with you, keep it honest with you, and tell you exactly. Right. It tell you exactly what the fuck it is. Fip is that guy. Fip is going to tell you exactly what it is. So shout out to Dave Fip. Um, but I know that they were looking at bringing in somebody that was just a returner. Yeah. Um, that at that time obviously had more pedigree than what I had. Um, but Sproles told them to come and get me. But again, you don't know what man- managers are going to do. Yeah, they're going to do yeah. what the fuck they right. want. And so um, literally the next day, 9 a.m., I'm moving me and at the time my girlfriend, we're looking for apartments. I get a call while I'm on the apartment hunt. Um, from Howie. Hey, KB, it's Howie. I'm like, hey, what's going on? He was like, man, we want to bring you back. He said, we want to bring you back, but I knew who it was because I'd already talked to Sproles. Right. Um, and Sproles had already plugged me. And um, so they brought me back. So shout out to Sproles, man. If it wasn't for Darren Sproles, I wouldn't, ha- I wouldn't have had my first Super Bowl ring. Um, wow. That's some real... 
Yeah. Um, and real I, when shit. I, when I say real person, awesome. when I tell you Spros is Spros is a special dude and will always hold a special place in my heart. I got nothing but love, respect, and um, like I I, I, will, I owe a lot to that guy. I mean, anybody can try and teach you. You obviously have to take what you're being taught and apply it on your own. Um, but for him to be who he is um, as a man, not even as an athlete, but as a man, and teach me what he taught me and then to look out for me the way that he looked, he didn't have to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He could have got hurt. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. And just let them do what, you know what they were going to do. He could have yeah. got hurt, went on about his business. Um, but even in the midst of his trials and his tribulation, he had never been hurt in his career. In the midst of that, for him to think about me, you know what I'm saying? That, that that's special to me. So I love I love you, Spros, man. I tell Aww. you, I tell you when I talk to you, I didn't told you a few times. I listen when we won that Super Bowl. I didn't cry until I seen Spros. Really? I was good. The ugliest cry I ever seen in my life. First of all, I'm a pretty crier. <laughs> no, you're not. We're gonna put that. I, out. I already knew you gonna John, pull it up. Remember, pull it up. I, you know, pull you want to know something? I didn't have time. I was gonna take that picture and put it on a shirt. Instead, I got Ice Cube. But the goat. I was gonna put that on a shirt and wear it to this God interview. Damn, I'm glad y'all said it. Off. <laughs> Used to be hard, now that you just wet and saw. That's the dopest diss track ever. Heard you was down with the AK, and now I see you on a video with Mitchell. Rebecca Lake. don't know nothing about that. Looking like straight bozos, hitters with attitude. Who you fooling? Yeah, shout out to shout out to uh, uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm sorry, I'm an East Coast girl. I, I like Biggie. I like all of them. I was so. just about to ask you, Tupac or Biggie. And I want you to listen. I want you Biggie to Biggie all day. I'm what? just going to cut you right off. Biggie, hands down. Uh, cute to I know, I know, I know you're, I know you're a Cali person, but. I'm Tupac all day. No, Me too. And I'm from the East Coast. Of course. Let's I knew be, okay, you were wait. going to be. So, but, but, okay, let's, can we have a conversation? Let's have a conversation. Yes, please. Let's have this conversation. You got Tupac and Biggie. Okay. Both legends, both goats. Right. Both really to. Took hip hop to a whole nother level. Both, both, both. It's in both. both, way beyond their years. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. And um, but like I got all the respect in the world for Biggie because of his impact on hip hop. And you from the East Coast, so I get it. But Biggie had one album. Two. Biggie had one album. Oh, before he died, because he had life after death. That's right. You're right. One album, basically. You know what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong. Biggie was lyrical. When Pac wasn't yeah. lyrical, Biggie was lyrical, though. Biggie was going to talk that shit Pac to Pac wasn't you. lyrical? You don't yeah. think he was Not lyrical? Not like Biggie. So, I, listen, I'm, Pac, Pac told Pac stories. Pac. Yeah, but he didn't tell him like Biggie. No, nah, so, yeah. Biggie was going to talk to you how he was on the corner slinging that dope, then went yeah. home, talked to his mama, got into it, and then went and talked to Shorty, let her know, baby, listen. Right, and then he had, he had a lot of good beats to it, too, like where I feel as Tupac was like just very, he was like straight to it, very hard. It was raunchy. Yeah. Biggie was more like you throw it on at the club, everybody's getting you up. Vibe uh, to you're it. vibing. Like, it was all it, a dream. Yeah. Pac, I used to read Word Up magazine. Pac also had a different agenda, which a lot of people don't know. Yeah. He was trying to bring the Bloods and the Crips together and bring a lot of stuff together. But you, he had a bigger agenda than hip hop. So, side note, my daddy sung with Death Row. Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, sung yeah. or signed? Sung. He didn't sign with them. He sung. He sung he with sung. Death my Row. My daddy sung on a Gridlock album. Uh, yeah. On a, Is that uh, where the, the nickname Slick came from? Nah, was that his? What was his nah, singing that's name? Way back <laughs> Gary Bonner. Oh, okay. I um, got it. But yeah, but my daddy sung. My daddy sung on. Um, he sung on on a Tupac song. Um, off the grid, lock, off the gridlock sound, sound soundtrack, um, and he was on OFTB, who was a group on Death Row. He sung with them, and he sung on a Death Row Christmas album. Wait, Death Row had a Christmas? Album? <laughs> what? Merry well, fucking no, Christmas, music. motherfucker! <laughs> was Samuel L. Jackson on that? You shit? had you had Christmas, uh, Christmas in the ghetto. Um, <laughs> for real, not G shit. You laugh, it was but called I, but Christmas I'm, in the ghetto. Nah, that was one of the songs. Um, oh, my um, we can't play the song. For copyright purposes, yeah, we can't. It ain't play. even a thing. Death Row ain't even a thing no yeah, more. Yeah, but it's still. I'm not, listen. I'm not trying to owe Suge Knight no money. <laughs> he not coming after you no time soon. No, he's not. He's not. Wait, who's the new Death Row now? Who claims it a new Death Row? Oh, he's in jail too. Who? Uh, Six Nine's old manager. Listen, <laughs> don't know. Don't nobody need to claim to be the new Death Row. <laughs> Uh, don't nobody need to claim that um, but anyway since yes. we're on music though i got i do have a question because i feel like when it comes to you're talking about like you got two Tupac, more teams by the way i know listen 
Oh yeah. Why? Stop cutting me off. I'm not. Stop I'm cutting, just saying. Stop cutting I'm Becca sorry. off. Turn my mic. Thank off. you. Yeah, mute yourself. Damn, mute him. Thank you. Thank anyway, you. Anyway, so since we were talking about rappers and stuff like that, I feel like this is a really big controversy when it comes to female rappers. So tell me, Little Kim, Nicki Minaj, or Cardi B? You gotta go, Little Kim. Little Kim. Little Kim. All said, trash. All oh, trash. What? Yeah. Well, well, you better, you okay, you better. Nicki Minaj. All, you better Nicki put Minaj, some, I like Nicki. I like you, but no, you better put some respect on Lil Kim. Yeah. Because it wouldn't nah, be no like Nicki Minaj. Kim. It wouldn't be no Cardi B. It wouldn't be no Mulatto. It wouldn't be no who, Megan who Thee Stallion. Who raps though? I don't. Probably Biggie. Yep. That's exactly. But who wrote either yeah, either way, sleep. it don't matter who wrote. It don't matter who wrote it. Because you still got to go out there and you got to perform it and you got to make whatever somebody else wrote, you got to make it yours. Yes. When you get on them tracks, you got to make it believable that it's you. And Lil Kim did that. Yeah, Agreed. Biggie changed her into what Little Kim became, the nasty sex symbol, the, you know what I'm saying, that gave every hoe out there, gave them that lifeline that yeah. they could go out there, do what they want to do, and it wasn't no problem. It was Little Kim first before it was anybody. So right. you think Little Kim was better than MC Light? No, was, mm -hmm. lyrically, no. Oh, okay. But it's a, it's a, you gotta, it, that's not apples to apples. Hip hop is about impact. Mary J. Blige. You talk about, you talk about Tupac and Biggie. Neither one of them. Mary J. Sings. Tupac, what was Tupac's first, first, uh. He was with Digital Underground. No, 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 I know that. But oh. I'm talking about like his first major album. Oh, um, and, um, It was either All Eyes on Me or Mac, Machiavelli or All Eyes on Me. One of them. Um, but Pac had had albums before that, that weren't, they weren't, they didn't hit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Biggie, Biggie had one major album before he died. Right. But it's the impact that they had on the game. Well, not only that, everybody he brought with him too, like yeah. Junior Mafia. Yeah. You got to think about yeah. Diddy. You yeah. got Faith Evans. Yeah, you got, they got fucking Little Kim. Yeah. You got you go all of them. West. You go out west to Death Row with Pac. You had Snoop come on the scene with Pac. You know what I'm saying? Snoop is still Doctor. relevant. Yeah, till this day. Yeah. You, listen, when you talk about hip hop. <laughs> And you talk about the greatest of all time. You gotta put you gotta put Snoop in there. Yeah. You have to. You got to because nobody has had. I talk. I love Drake. Drake has had a run. Do um, what? No. What you mean? I don't, know. I don't, you don't like, like Drake. Drake, no. Drake listen, I you don't. can say what you want about Drake being a what, what's my dog new album uh, about to be called? A Lover Boy. Whose album? Drake's new album yeah. about to be called Lover Boy. Yeah. You so could, you, you can know it's about, about to be all melodies. A, boy, it's about to be fire. Whatever, whether it's melodies or him spitting, Drake has had a run that is unmatched. But when you talk about Snoop, Snoop has been in the game and relevant in the game, not just relevant. in the game. That's why I said that. Putting out work. Yeah. So like little kids these days, like teenagers and shit like that. So a few years ago, I had to go to, I went to Snoop's because I was with one of the radio stations at this time. He came to Camden, New Jersey. Snoop came. I walked around and looked. There was like teenagers there mm -hmm. that were all about Snoop. I, yeah. I was blown the fuck away. So I was you, like, wait, what? I've always respected Snoop. I've always loved Snoop. And when I saw the verses with him and DMX. The greatest verses. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <sighs> close. Close to. Listen, Second. It was tied. No, 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 no. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna say so DMX and Snoop, the versus battle was the greatest versus battle of all time. Yeah. Gucci yeah, and, and Jeezy, Jeezy just had did the, the numbers. They did the numbers. But if you talk about two legends coming together. You know what I'm saying? East Coast, West Coast at a time where they were still beefing. Yep. Where you had corrupt sending out joints like calling out names mm -hmm. where he dissing. What do he say? The only ex I know is exhibit in RBS. Yep. Extraordinary. You know what I'm saying? But at a time where they were beefing, but for them two to come together and do what they did and the love and support that they have for yeah. each other, that was DMX is a funny fucking what? dude. Both of them. What did he, he say to Snoop? <laughs> Snoop was talking about if, if, if we reach, what do he say? What do he say? If we reach uh, some, nine something, million, yeah. it was something crazy. It was like, we going to take our, if X take his shirt off, I'm going to take my, you told him, boy, we going to be in here looking like the number 10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but, but for them two to come together and do it, that was, you know, great. Um, so, yeah, so I was saying was when I seen that, I always loved Snoop. I always knew he could rap. I always knew he could freestyle. Mm -hmm. When he freestyled. At the end. To that Marvin Gaye beat. And kept it going. Could and kept, kept going. it going. Like, that was off the dome. That yeah. was not written. I was yeah. like, yo, that could have. He just did a whole song. Yeah. Wow. And he a real spitter, seconds, a real rapper. Rebecca, I'm going to play that for you. That beat is so cold. Yeah. People don't. Somebody, I, was, I forget who I was with. It was a whole bunch of us. We were watching it. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yo, that beat's sick. I said, bro, that's a Marvin Gaye beat. That's yeah. a 1970. Yeah, it's throwback. from the movie that he did. But Snoop, but Snoop, Snoop, Snoop is really an old soul. He really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Snoop really should have, you know what I'm saying? That pimp, Man. pimp and all that. that that's Everything he does is chill. Yeah. It's just, it's smooth. It's chill. It's, yeah. 
there's nothing aggressive or wild and you oh, just Oh no, listen, don't get it twisted get, now. <laughs> don't get it twisted yeah. now. Snoop will hit you with some gangster shit. Mm -hmm. And he gonna I'm make not you saying feel that he won't, but you his know, style so is some of very his pictures though they've been getting them with lately. <laughs> Looking mad suspect. <laughs> well it don't matter. That boy's a legend. Yeah, yeah he what he wanna do. Agreed. Um but going back to it when I was saying I think hip hop is about the impact that you make because there's so many different artists that were great artists that were that put out great music, had great catalogs, but their impact their impact wasn't what it was. When you talk about Tupac and Biggie, their impact is that. So when you speak about Little Kim, yeah, but she may not have wrote her shit. I don't yeah. care. But her impact on the game, her impact on female rappers yeah. still to Agreed. this day. And dudes be rapping her shit too. They're modeled. It, every, you look at Cardi B, you look at Mulatto, you look at Meg The Stallion, you look at uh, Nicki, you look at all the sex appeal. Where, that, came yeah. from, that, came from, that came from that woman, Lil' Kim. That came from her, so her impact. Even Nicki did the one album that was dedicated to, not dedicated, but the album cover, the way she did it, where Lil' Kim was down in her underwear yeah, or whatever, squatting down. Yeah, like, so you gotta down. get Lil' Kim, like, yeah, it, was it, she it better, comes from Little Kim yeah. for sure. She and people rapper sleep than, on like, Foxy like, Brown now. Foxy yeah, Brown was cold too. Yeah, now. Foxy yeah. Brown, she's like deaf now too. But that, that's the thing. That's, that's the thing with like music and anything for that. They, they always instead of building these rappers, these artists, these sports players, whatever it is, instead of building them up, they pit them against each other. The media yeah. does. Whereas if you look at Foxy, they may have had their beef or whatever it was, but it was a lot of it was fueled by media. Media, you know agreed. Media saying? fuels everything. You know what I'm saying? Bro. They were two great. If artists they would have collaborated, they probably wouldn't. Dope as shit together. That's what Nicki Minaj and Cardi B need to do. Yeah. They got their own beef. Don't get me wrong. They got beef, but. <laughs> Who listen, hit who with a shoe? <laughs> but listen. I need to know. Nick started that shit. Listen, <laughs> Pete. Cardi, Cardi hit fucking Nicki with a shoe. I seen that. That was a while ago. Cardi with the shit now. She, you know what's funny? So we had Quentin on two episodes ago, right? Mm -hmm. And. I said, she, we did the five, the five questions we did with you on the first one. Mm -hmm. We gave him 30 seconds. We asked him what he thought about Cardi B. I've always disliked Cardi B because she annoyed me. But then he said, he made a good point. He said, that's why I like her. Her because she pisses people yeah, off, yeah, but she, she keeps it real. She don't give a she, fuck. She gonna be real. She keeps she it real. Everything she and I was like, yo, I've never it's looked organic. at it that way, and it's now organic. I like her more. Yeah, it's organic. I it, told it really you that is. when you asked me, you're like, I just don't. I just this is what I don't get about the car. And you know what? It's not Cardi B. It's the fans. Why are you taking advice? Love advice from somebody who don't can't even take her own. You know what I mean? Like they'll shit on a man. And, and be like, yeah, Cardi, yeah, you do you. You but know what I mean? That listen, shit pisses okay, me off. That's a whole nother conversation. But we talk about, you know what I'm saying, fans, you know, buying into music. You got to understand how powerful music is. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Music is a powerful thing. Um, and what people say, people pay attention to. And all this, you know, I don't need a man, fuck a man, this, that, and the other. Or even with, even with men, you know. Calling you know women is, women's is hoes this that and the bitches other. you know what I'm saying that that's that's you got to be mentally mature enough to listen to the music but not buy into the bullshit people buy into the bullshit yeah, though so like many all people. these women talking about what who, who my girls uh out out, out the a. What? But something give a fuck about a nigga. Oh, uh, yeah 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 that song. Um, I can back back. Call. Who's that? That's Meg right. Or no, City Girls. I mean, you, your City Girls. City Girls, City Girls. You know what I'm saying? They girls. had the city hot. They had every city hot for a minute. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Women talk, but then women get on the low, get on their own, baby, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> but, they, but we on the ground. Oh, yeah. But we They're on like, the ground. Oh, yeah. But we on the ground. Fuck a nigga. I don't need it. I don't need no nigga. Unless Why you- can, uh, can I say that? I'm sorry. Mama, yeah, I'm sorry. You can say it. Um, you can say whatever you, know you want. You know what I'm saying? But you got you to gotta be- Except when you listen for Rebecca, to music, bro. You have to be mentally mature enough- Let me tell you something. To differentiate They're all between. about that, except for Rebecca is really about that life. If she says she don't give a fuck about somebody, she's a savage, I, no, bro. You don't got to She's a true me, life listen, savage. I've known, I've known and met Rebecca- At least I'm real. Of, <laughs> not even 24 hours. <laughs> but I believe it. It's, At least I'm real about it. If she posts a video with that song, she's yeah. she's not going to get on the phone and be like, "I love you, baby." She's going to be like, "What the fuck are you doing right?" Now? I believe that. Yeah, I, whole, a thousand percent. I, I wholeheartedly believe that. A thousand percent. Wholeheartedly believe that. I'm going to call you the fuck out, and then I might I'm humiliate savage. your ass on top of it. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. No doubt about that it. That song was made about her. I'm a yeah. savage. Yeah, I'm, I'm classy. A savage. I believe it. Bad. I believe it. Um, so we were on the topic. We'll get back to the sports thing, but this is kind of like the sports thing. We're on the topic of women. Have you ever had a girl? Like I, I know you. I know we've talked about you sliding in JoJo's DMs. What's the craziest thing a fan has done to try to get your attention, get in your DMs or anything? Come to a game, jump the fucking fence, something like that. Crazy. 
I already see a story brewing. <laughs> He's thinking about something. I'm not thinking about something because I know exactly what I want to say. Um, what Boosie say? <laughs> put your <laughs> put your put your, put your, pussy, put your pussy on the line. I'll give you a thousand dollars. I didn't have women send me their vagina in my DMs, bro. Stop it. No lie. Um, I have Damn, this. I, that level? Was yeah. it like um, you know, women, bat wings? Listen, women women send vagina pics like dudes send dick pics. Oh, this is the, the, thank you. Dudes, Call them out. Women women want to talk about women want to talk about dudes sending dick pics. Let's be real here. Y'all will send y'all vagina out just like a man will send his his penis out. Wouldn't you rather see tits than a vagina though? Like, are these listen, bitches that dumb? Listen. Or an ass pick or something, right? I would think I would like a titty pick rather because vaginas give a damn. look right. weird. What the fuck is a titty? Vaginas look do weird though. There's, there's different kind of vagina. I don't need to see vaginas. none of that till we in person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. So, I don't. Listen. So that's the craziest thing though. Just sending pussy pics. Innocent, but no, I had an old head, bro. How? <laughs> I had an old head in my DM, I'm done. bro. I'm done. I wish I could. Wait, just that the little dude ball auntie of the week. <laughs> auntie of the week, auntie. Who auntie is this? Come get your auntie. Oh, nah, shit. um, she was wild, like. Wild. wild, wild, yeah, bro. You should have been uh, like, "Yo, whose mom is this?" Like she made me feel <laughs> uncomfortable. Grandma is this? Like I'm a, I'm a type of dude. I don't got I don't got no shame. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's hard to make me feel uncomfortable, but the way she was coming at me and like what she was telling me she wanted to do to me, it threw me off. <laughs> I I'm need like, to know where you were at the town at, at, at the, the time. Turn? At the time, where were you playing at the time? No, where. Uh, what? Why you know somebody? No, no, <laughs> She's no. like, I know somebody. No. I just want to know like where he was. Like, oh, what, what team? Like, yeah, this, what this team? Was, this was a couple years ago, so it was probably it was. I was probably in Philly. There's some fucking raw shit. <laughs> no, no, but she Philly. wasn't from oh, Philly. Okay. Oh shit! And she was from Texas. Oh my god! Shout out Texas. to shout out to Texas. Y'all got him, boy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? H town. Every, everything's bigger in Texas. And Yo, it you, is. Any any dudes ever try to slide in your DM? What do you say earlier? Hit the crickets. <laughs> The crickets. Yo, people are fucking crazy. You never know. No, I listen. <laughs> I respect the LGBT, LGBT, the ABC K, community, C, D, F, G community. That's a long one. I fuck it, it up. Is. I it fuck is. it up every they time. Add new, they add a new acronym to it almost yeah. every day. Yeah. I, I respect y'all. Um, no, I didn't have I didn't have some dudes like, hey, you sexy. I'm like, cool, appreciate it. But <laughs> next, <laughs> yeah. auntie. No, I tell them like, thank you. Yeah. I don't. You know what I'm saying. Now, do yeah, you yeah, read yeah. all your a, DMs? Nah, not all. Um, and I'm sorry. How many DMs do you think you got right now unopened? I said, you know, we live in a, this is right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> real time. You can see that real time. Um, right now, I, I, got, think. I got 54 requested DMs and I got 27 unread DMs. How many? 27. Unread? Yeah. That's not that bad. But those are new. Oh, shit. Damn. So, wait. So, you got a booking thing. So, you got the general and... Uh, yeah, I don't know how Instagram do that. I don't know what type... Of, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, you got your request. You got your request. And then, like, people that you know and follow and shit, yeah. they could come straight through. So, while you were on the road with the teams, what's the craziest thing a fan ever did? Uh, I had a chick buy a hotel room in the hotel that we were staying at without ever knowing or talking to anybody. And just found out what hotel. And she was like, I'm here. I was like, no. She you're messaged you and said, "I'm here," and yeah. you didn't know who she. Nah, she was I never She's, met her a day in my life. That's some wait, stalkerish. What? I never met shit. her a day in my life. So did you, like all you guys talk? Did she like run through the whole team and say that to it everybody? Was, it was a couple. <laughs> yeah, it was a couple cats. Um, it if was kind of nobody met her. No, nah, like, it was like random. Um, what was her? I ain't gonna do that. Hey. Did you ever end up meeting her? <laughs> never. Wait, what's that chick's name? Never, that's like known for to be a hoe, doesn't care. Who? What's her fucking name? Selena Powell. I don't know who that is. <laughs> who, yeah, who's that? He said, I don't, I don't know. know Good is. answer. Good answer. Selena Powell's like this well known, like, she's an NBA hoe. And she don't care. She'll Why rat she every- gotta be a hoe. Because she says she's an NBA hoe. It's like fucking, what's her name? Uh, Amber Rose says she's a hoe. She's proud to be a hoe. This girl, Selena Powell, is on No Jumper, which is another podcast. But she says, that she calls out all the NBA dudes, talks about how she ran, like, got the train ran on hey, her listen, and everything. I know we're in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> I got to piss. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take a quick pause? We're going to take a quick break. Uh, pause. I'll yeah, pause it. Pause. Yeah. Do you have the time to listen to me while- 